everyone! Today I'm going to be unboxing Tomorrow by Together's new mini album, The Name Chapter Temptation. I have the three main photo book versions here today, the Daydream, Nightmare, and Farewell versions. They did also release an additional version called the Lullaby version, and that one came in five different member versions. But unlike their member versions for their last album, these ones are more of a photo book style. Um, I actually have one here as an example. And because of that, I did end up buying all five member copies, so I'm going to be unboxing those in a separate video. That way this unboxing is not way too long. We'll start with the Daydream version, and right away I want to point out that these albums are a lot bigger than I expected. I feel like with the square shaped photo books like this, I tend to expect them to be a bit more compact in size, but like this album is notably bigger than my hand and I'm having to zoom out a fair bit to hopefully get the whole photo book in frame. Uh, this one has my favorite color scheme out of all the covers. I like the dark green with the lighter pink text. I think that looks really pretty. Um, and these covers are also a little bit textured to them as well, which is quite nice. I also really like the spine design. Uh, we've got the TXT logo up here, the name chapter Temptation, and then Daydream down at the bottom. We've also got a little M here, which makes me think if you put the different versions together they might spell something out. The back is pretty plain. We've got the TXT logo for this era and then a whole bunch of copyright information. This album was printed with soy ink. I'm seeing that a lot more on albums these days, which is good. I feel like that's a nice effort towards sustainability. Again, no track listing on the back, but that has been more and more common these days, so I'm not surprised by that, even though it is a personal pet peeve of mine. Um, and for the random member goodies, each album is supposed to come with, I believe, a postcard and a photo card, and those are version specific for these versions. Ooh, I really like this packaging so far. That looks really trippy, which fits the title track very well. Oh, I love this. So the format of this album really reminds me of a storybook. And we've got a little quote here, like this is an actual storybook picture book. That is very nice. As I said, this is the daydream version, and I do really like this photo shoot. It's got a very cool outdoorsy vibe to it. I love the like dreamlike hazy filter they've put over this picture. All of the concepts for this album are so different, but they're all very good in their own ways. Oh, I see we're continuing with that storybook concept, so here we have some of the lyrics from one of the B-side songs, Devil by the Window. Very cool. Our first picture of Subin, who is blonde this comeback, and I feel like this hair color suits him very, very well. And Bumq. Yeah, this hazy filter they put over the pictures is really adding to like the dreamlike quality. Very young June. I think these two were both teaser pictures. They put out a lot of teaser photos for this album. They were all super, super gorgeous. Taehyun. That was one of Kai's teaser photos. Again, super, super gorgeous picture. I love the spider web. Very eye catching. Got another group photo. I love photos like this with like the group just cuddling together. It's like my favorite genre of group photo. Oh, these are gorgeous aesthetic shots. I really like the aesthetics of this era. Got some unit photos. We've got Yeon Jun and Subin and Kai and Taehyun. 
and then Bumgyu and Kai and Yeonjun and Taehyun. Here we've got some lyrics from Sugar Rush Ride, the title track for the album. And some more unit photos. I like that we're getting photos for a lot of different units too. We've got Subin and Bumgyu, Bumgyu and Kai. Oh, another one of Yeonjun and Subin. Nice. I will say, if I have a minor critique so far about the photo book, I don't love that almost none of the pictures are full page. But I also see with this page layout how that would be very difficult to get like a full page version of this image. Because the image dimensions are so different from the page dimensions, but like, that one I feel like they could have full sized it a little bit. That is not a technical term. I'm not a graphic designer. Either that or I wish they would have had more on these pages instead of just blank space. Like maybe more little quotes or something. Again, all these pictures with the spider web are so, so gorgeous. Oh, wow. This was not one of the teaser photos. And that is so pretty. That's a good example of what I was talking about, too, with the pages. Like, it's not quite the full page, but it's blown up a lot more than most of the images are. That is so stunning. I think these photos are also meant to evoke sort of a Lost Boys, like from Peter Pan kind of vibe. I do feel like they accomplished that pretty well. They don't wear these exact outfits in the music video, but some of the scenes from it definitely have a similar vibe to this photo shoot. Okay, so here are our random inclusions. So I'm going to move all of those to the side and we will look at those <laughs> after we finish looking through the photo book. We've got another quote here, this time from the B-side, Happy Fools. I really like how many different pictures you get in this photo book. I have a butterfly, that's so pretty. Quote from Tinnitus, another B-side. I like also that those are going in track list order. It really does make it feel like they tried to tell a narrative story with the sequencing of songs on the album. Is that an apple that Kai has there? Because that's some very interesting symbolism if that is. Oh, that shot with the water. So pretty. I love the way the light is hitting it. Seriously, Yeonjun's pictures for this album are just unreal. He's so pretty. Got another group photo, and I'm assuming that's a quote from Farewell Neverland, the last song on the album. That's a really pretty picture of Kai. The way the sun is peeking through the trees, oh, so gorgeous. Pretty sure that was one of Yeonjun's teasers. I feel like we've seen Taehyun on the swing so many times now in this photo book. This is such an interesting way that they laid the pa pictures out on the page. All the ones with the sun, like, coming through the trees are just so, so gorgeous. We've got the members' thanks twos, so we have Subin's first. And then Yeonjun's, and they both wrote a lot in their thanks twos. I have Bumgyu. Bumgyu's is a little short and sweet compared to Yeonjun and Subin. 
Now Tegan's is even, even shorter. And then Kai's is somewhere between Suwon and Yeonjun and Bumgyu. Oh, wait a minute. It's hard to tell because his hand is kind of obscuring it, but I do think that is an apple. Which is very interesting given the Temptation theme of the album. And we've got our credits, and I believe that is the end. Yes, it is. So interesting that... Like, all of the other inclusions are not actually bound to the book. It's just the photo book itself. I don't love this recent trend of having the CDs not be secured to the photo book album part. But that has been a trend lately, so I'm not really surprised by it. So let's see what all we have here for the inclusions. The first thing we have is a folded poster. Ooh, I'm so happy it's this picture. It's the cuddle pile, as I affectionately call these kind of photos. So gorgeous. These are definitely a bit smaller than their posters for uh, Thursday's Child, but that makes sense because the posters that come inside albums do tend to be a bit smaller than the external ones. Then we also get a sheet of stickers, and I believe these are the same, yeah, because they have the, all the different album version names. So I'm not going to show this in the other albums, most likely. Then we have the CD itself, which comes in this little envelope. Oh, I'm holding that the wrong way. I do like that they sealed it with a flap on the back instead of leaving it open, or... Um, sealing it with a sticker. I really don't like when they seal these with a sticker because then it's hard to open them without ruining the seal. Oh wow, yeah, the disc design is beautiful. It's that lovely, trippy design from the inside of the album. At least it is well protected. I do appreciate that. And then we have little bookmark and you get one for each version. I believe they're version specific. Oh, and I have it. Nope, I don't have it backwards. Okay. It says Tomorrow by Together at the bottom there and it has the T logo. We also have a separate lyrics book. Um, we have our track list on the back here. There are five songs on this album. Devil by the Window, Sugar Rush Ride, Happy Fools, Tinnitus, and Farewell Neverland. One thing I think is super interesting is that Devil by the Window has a Korean title because that song is entirely in English. Um, my favorite songs, it's really hard to pick. I really do like the title track Sugar Rush Ride, but I also really, really like Devil by the Window. And then Farewell Neverland is great as well. I do also like Tinnitus and Happy Fools. Um, I don't dislike them. Like, they're definitely still very good songs. The whole album is very, very good, but those three are just above and beyond for me. Like, those three are probably going to end up in my top TXT songs of all time. They're so, so good. So let's take a quick look at this booklet. Ooh, I like that they have these little art pieces here inside the lyrics book. That's very nice. So we've got the lyrics for Devil by the Window, Sugar Rush Ride, Happy Fools, Tinnitus, And Farewell Neverland. Oh, that is so pretty. Interesting that they put the credits here instead of on the pages with the song lyrics. But yeah, again, all five songs. Very, very good. I highly recommend listening to them if you have not already. And now finally, our random member inclusions. So as I said, we have a photo card and a postcard. 
Um, my main bias in TXC is Yeonjun. He is the main one that I am attempting to collect. It is slow going though because TXC cards are kind of expensive and Yeonjun is a very popular member. I do also bias Kai and Bumgyu. I'm still undecided if I'm going to be collecting their cards or not. Of course I'm happy with any member that I pull, but I am hoping to pull someone in bias line. Especially for the postcards, because I would prefer not to trade those. Um, let's see who I got. Ooh, I got Kai's postcard. That is very, very pretty. Again, I love all the pictures of the spider web. That's so gorgeous. And then for the photo card. <gasps> oh my god, I got Yeonjun. I don't think I had ever pulled a Yeonjun card until I think it was Miniso 2. I think it was Thursday's Child was the first time I ever pulled one of his cards. So I definitely was not expecting that. I am super, super pleasantly surprised. So I got Yeonjun and Kai, who are my top two biases. Very, very exciting. Next, let's look at the Nightmare version, and this has a very different aesthetic from the Daydream version, as you might expect from the contrasting titles. I love the color of this one. The pink salmon-y color is very, very pretty. But I don't think the pink and white combination is quite as striking as the dark green and pink one was. Pretty similar outer packaging design. Ooh, I really like the inside cover of this one. That is super pretty. I think that is the same quote from the Daydream version. I don't think that is different. Yeah, this photo shoot is super trippy. I really, really like this one. I think this is my favorite photo shoot out of these three. Very interesting, right away we have a completely different, like, format for how the photo book is laid out. Like I said, the Daydream version did not have a lot of full page pictures, but right away we're starting with a completely full page spread of this gorgeous photo of Kai. And we've just got the lyrics down there at the bottom. Very interesting how differently that's laid out. Perhaps I spoke too soon, we're already back to the white space but again i do feel like i feel like in the daydream version there were white borders around the pictures whereas here we don't really have that many of them but we're starting again with subin most likely the same order oh, actually it's not the same order because next we have bunk you did i accidentally skip no i did not skip the page interesting and, like, the vibrant blue in the background. Blue and pink are my favorite colors, so I really, really enjoy the color scheme of this album. That is so cool, the way they did this picture of Taehyun. This photo shoot is so trippy. I love it. Ooh, yeah, I like how this is laid out. There's, like, no blank space. Interesting that he's got an hourglass. We have Kai. God, this set is so trippy. Like, all of the cheap wings, the stuffed animals, like, stuck together. Who came up with this vision? Because it is so cool. I've literally never seen anything like that before. We got another group cuddle picture. Very, very cute. Oh, these pictures are pretty with the feathers. <sighs> yeah, I really liked the Daydream photo book, but so far this one is my favorite. There's like a sadness in Bumgyu's expression here. He's He's so good at emoting. this picture of Yeonjun. That was one of the teaser photos, and I had that as my icon on Discord for a while. That is just such a cool picture to me. 
so incredibly gorgeous. Ooh, that's a very interesting aesthetic shot. Yeah, this, I, lo I love this photo book. I'm like so obsessed with this one already. Oh, I love this with like the trippy background. This is so good. That's one of the things I really admire with TXT's album designs is like they always have such different concepts from each other visually, yet they all fit the album concept. Like this looks nothing like Daydream, but they both fit that temptation theme of the album somehow. It's very, very cool. Again, all these pictures of the wigs. I just I love it. I got Taehyun. Why are the clothes above his foot? At least he's wearing a sock. Again, the blonde hair just suits Subin so, so well. They're all so incredibly photogenic. I love this with like the blur on the background. So nice. Oh, this is a really pretty group photo too. I just, I love the vibe of this photo shoot so much. I think that was one of Bumgy's teaser photos. I love the bunny stuffed animal that they gave him. That is so, so cute. And it also, again, with the Peter Pan concept, it reminds me of... Michael, I think was his name, the youngest darling child who always toted around a teddy bear in the Disney version. It gives me that kind of vibe. But I don't know for sure if that's what they were going for, but with the Peter Pan concept, I wonder if that was their intent. Like, again, I've just, I've never seen another photo shoot like this. This is so, so cool. Oh, I love, I love this page spread. This is so gorgeous. Yeah, I feel like this version makes way better use of the space on the pages. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. They did like a Polaroid photo from the shoot and then... Ugh. I'm sorry, these aesthetics are just everything. Oh, I love that one. Playing with mirrors. Just altering the perception in yet another way. Another group photo. And like we do still have the white pages like this, but because there are pages that use graphics or pictures instead, it makes the white space feel more purposeful, which I like. We have the members of Thanks Tos again, Subin, Yeonjun. Boom Q. That is cute. That is, I think, my favorite Bumgy picture from any of the albums so far. That is adorable. Taehyun. Interesting. I'm realizing they all have a different object here. Subin's got, like, a heart-shaped locket. Anjun has a bell. Bumgyu has a stuffed bunny. Taehyun has an hourglass. What does Kai have? Ooh, like a perfume bottle. That's fascinating. I wonder what the lore implications of that is. We've got the credits. And now it's time to look at all of our extras. Ooh, I like this poster too. Um, I think it's meant to be a vertical poster, but you could probably display it horizontally if you wanted. I will say the material of this feels 
surprisingly thin, but it is a very, very cute picture. I really like both of the posters so far. Oh, interesting. The lyrics book is different, but it matches the aesthetic of the Daydream version instead of this one. I think, I think the inside pages are the same, though. Interesting. The bookmark this time has the X logo. And then the CD this time is in a pink envelope. Yeah, that is so pretty. The disc designs for this album are so, so gorgeous. And then for the member inclusions, let's see, for the postcard this time, oh my god, I got Kai again! Well, I like that these have their little items from the thanks to pictures. And then for the photo card, oh, I got Bumq! Oh, that is such a cute card, too. Oh, wow. That's really fun! So I got Yeonjun and Kai in my first album, and Bumgyu and Kai in this one. The farewell version has this lighter green color, which I like. I like that it's a very different shade of green from the Daydream version. I think that helps to differentiate them. That is what the spine looks like, and the back. It looks like... Our stuff is at the beginning this time. Let me move that out of the way. So we have another green design, but again a different shade of green. The same text at the beginning. So we start off with Yeonjun this time. And then Subin, and this photo shoot acts kind of like a shipwrecked castaway sort of vibe. Got Bumgyu. Oh, Taehyun's hair looks so pretty here. Like that combined with the beach gives me like a little mermaid vibe almost. So, so gorgeous. And then Kai. And then a group photo. This definitely feels like a simpler photo shoot compared to the others, but it's still really gorgeous and it still fits the concept. Not so much, well I guess it does fit the album, not so much the title track Sugar Rush Ride, but the Farewell Neverland kind of thing, which I, makes sense that this is the Farewell version. And it does go along with the Sugar Rush Ride music video, because that begins with them seemingly stranded on a beach on an island. I wish that group photo was bigger. That's really pretty. I love these shots with the water. Those are so gorgeous. How is he so pretty? How is he real? Again, the blonde hair just suits Subin so well, and it fits so nicely with this concept. I wonder where they shot this, because this is such a gorgeous looking beach as well. I was wondering how late into the photo book we would get this concept switch. A little bit earlier than I expected, honestly. So now we've got some nighttime shots, which give a very different vibe. 
I think I like the nighttime shots a bit better than the daytime ones, personally. Ugh, I spoke too soon. We're back to the daytime shots. I kind of wish they had laid that out differently. I wish we had had all the daytime shots and then the night ones. Instead of switching between the two. Interesting that we've got like this one black and white picture here. And like no others so far. Oh, never mind. They're all going to get a black and white picture now. Again, so pretty. Maybe they don't all get black and white pictures. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to stop trying to make sense of this photo book. And just enjoy the visuals. I do wish we had more of the nighttime shots. That's really my only complaint. Not that these aren't gorgeous pictures, but it does seem a shame to take some photos at night and then just not use very many of them. Interesting that Kai's black and white picture is smaller than the others. Oh, that shot of the sea. So gorgeous. And oh, the sky in Yeonjun's picture like does not look real. That is too gorgeous. That's such a pretty shade of blue. I that's incredible. You know, I'm not typically a huge fan of black and white photos, but I really like the vibe of these ones. We have our thanks to's. So this is where more of the nighttime photos are. So we start with Subin again. And June. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous picture. Bungyu. Taehyun. And Kai. And then our credits. And that is the end. Now for the inclusions, again, I'm going to start with the poster, and this one is vertical as well. So I can't really fit the whole thing in frame, but the top part of it is pretty much just the sky, so. It's a very pretty picture. Very pretty. And then the bookmark is the lighter green. T design. So you can put them together and it would spell out TXT. Interesting, none of the lyrics books really had the pink concept, did they? They did not. They've all been more green. That is interesting. But again, essentially the same as the first two. And then our CD this time is in a lighter green envelope. Yeah, again, these disc designs are just so gorgeous. So, so pretty. And finally, we have our postcard. Oh, I got Yunjun this time. Oh, these are really pretty. I was not expecting these to be the black and white pictures. Very gorgeous. And then for the photo card, let's see. Oh my. My luck today was insane. I literally pulled bias line for all of my inclusions and I got... No, I was going to say I got a Yeonjun in every album. That's not true because the second one was Bungyu and Kai. I got mostly Yeonjun and Bung or Yeonjun and Kai. I cannot speak today. I got mostly Yeonjun and Kai and then that one Bungyu in the Nightmare version. 
again, I'm super happy with whoever I pull because I do love all five members, but it's super exciting to have actually pulled bias line for everything. I feel like that really rarely happens. Statistically, we would think it would happen a fair bit, considering I bias three people out of a five-member group, but <laughs> still very, very cool. That is it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.